Bill, kind of a follow-up from our previous conversation, you mentioned that people should know who they are or they should know their targets, who they are and how they can serve them. But before that, how can people know their values? Is there anything from your experience that you can share that people, job seekers, new immigrants or students can use it before applying for jobs? I absolutely believe that part of the way that we get to know ourselves is through a process I like to call establishing your mission manifesto. Mm-hmm. And it's something I write about in my book. It's actually the first key discipline because it's core to knowing who you are. And it really walks you through this process. Number one, why are you here? What's your purpose? Mm-hmm. Go deeper. It's not just about tactics and behaviors and, you know, do I want to be happy? But when you take that time to ask, why I'm here and my purpose, that's going to start shaping the deeper uh, journey that you go on that goes way beyond just trying to be happy. It's the gateway to being fulfilled. Yeah. So when you get that, the next step is you start writing out, now what missions must I accomplish to do that? That's going to shape up your job search, uh, where you might go, the things that you need to do to fulfill that purpose. A lot of times people think there's just one mission that you can have when in fact some of the greatest leaders in history when you look at their track record you see a a purpose and that's what they live for but missions are those things that they say this is what i need to do to accomplish that purpose Mm -hmm. break that out and that could include even your finances um all that ultimately lead to your values really Values can compete. Some people, their highest value is safety. Some is security. Some is adventure. Some is upside opportunity. And everybody has different values and it can change. Yeah, it okay. yeah, can change, right, over time? Very much. I mean, you just take this situation that we've experienced in the world of COVID. Yeah. Here was a situation where you had some people that believe that personal freedom and making medical decisions was their highest value. Mm -hmm. And then we had others that said uh, safety and communal safety is my highest value. And in a single family, you could have two very good values competing with each other. And so what I like to encourage people to do is, uh, and you can steal this from my book, steal it from the worksheets. I list what I call your brand values and start going through those and pick out what are the three non-compromising things that are central to your life. Mm -hmm. They are not only your brand values, but they become your life values. And then ultimately from that, you're able to start setting goals driven by missions. Mm -hmm. And the last piece I encourage everybody to have, and that's a vision. And a vision is more than just a narrative. In a perfect world, your vision is like the cover of a puzzle box. Like when you were a little kid, you're gonna put together puzzles. You didn't just collect pieces and then figure out what you're making. You looked at the puzzle box. Life often throws us puzzle pieces and we spend an inordinate amount of time trying to figure out what we're making from the pieces we're given or the pieces that are sold to us or pushed on us. Instead, if you really, from your purpose and your missions, really start to shape what it is you deeply desire and what you see success looks like in two years, three years, five years in such a vivid picture. Now you're going to be able to find those pieces that are going to help you get there instead of just scrambling to figure out what you can do. And when you can do that, you now have purpose, mission, vision, clarity, values, clarity, and you no longer fight with the distractions the world wants to throw at you. Those are very practical and deep conversation and tips. Thank you, Bill. I will put uh, uh, the, your book uh, on Amazon below so that people can buy it and use it. And again, on your website, there's a lot of free stuff that they can use, download it. Uh, and again, thank you, Bill. Uh, for the audience, again, tune in next time for another great question with Bill.